This screencast will walk you through how to use JingPro, Screencast.com, and WordPress to host a video on Screencast.com and embed the video inside of WordPress using standard uh, object embed tags. So the first thing you want to do is set up embedding in Jing inside of Jing. Um, I've got uh, I just opened up my I'll just close this down first. I just I've just got a video here inside of my history window that I'm looking at, and I'm gonna pop into it. And the first thing I notice I've got a few different share buttons down here. But this one is just returns a link. There's no embed code. So what I need to do is set up an embed button. I'll go into the configuration. I'll choose new. I'm going to have the screencast.com tab. I'm going to change and call this screencast.com embed code. I'm going to change my clipboard contents to HTML embed code. And I will choose save. And what you'll notice is you've got another embed uh, button down here. So this one still returns links to the page on screencast.com. This one's your embed code. So um, we'll close the Jing button configuration down, and I will push that little button. And what's going on up above the window, the recording here, is uh, it's actually uploading that video to screencast.com, and it'll return some embed code for me. So... I just got a little notification that says I've got embed code on my clipboard. So now I'm going to come into WordPress. I'm already logged in. I will choose to add a new post. Give it a post title. I'll paste that embed code in here. Now one thing is, is there's a one small bug in the embed code returned by Jing from screencast.com and that is there are these flash vars variables. Look for flash vars. You see this right here. And there are values called height and width inside of that, and they actually need to be called container width and container height. And since it's object embed tags, you've got to look for flash vars variables again. So inside the embed tag, there's my flash vars. Now I find container width. Okay, we'll go ahead and just push the preview button. And you can see I've embedded my video inside of my blog post just like that. Now there's one problem, this video is too large for the, the space in my uh, WordPress layout. So it's, it's overlapping the theme sidebar. And uh, this is a real typical problem. And one of the nice things is, is that Jing Pro provides a lot of real nice scaling techniques that help you get around this. So what we want to do is we want to, again want to come back into this embed, embed code, and I just arbitrarily choose 640 by 360 as the size of my all my videos will embedded be embedded at. So I'm going to come in here I'm into my embed code, and I'm going to find every place that there's 960, and I will replace it with 640. And in every place there's 540, I will replace it with 360. Oops. So we'll just keep scrolling down. Container width and height need to change as well. So we're going to go 640, 360. Okay, here's my embed width and height. That needs to change. 640, 360. And again, container width and height one more time. 640. 360. Okay, I will just go ahead and preview this. And you'll see this time I've got a really nicely sized video. Um, it just so happens that the video was uh, that same aspect ratio, so it looks nice. It's, if it's not, don't worry about it. You could just choose 640 by 360, and it would actually scale the video so that it was pillar boxed or letter boxed. So it would pre preserve the aspect ratio and embed it within the, the area that you've defined, 640 by 360. So that's how you would go about using WordPress, Screencast.com, and Jing Pro to embed your video content in your blog post.